In this video, you're gonna learn how to remove clicks and pops from your audio recordings. That could be from lip smacks or uh, issues during recording, any sharp click in your audio. And this is gonna to apply to any DAW, regardless of what you're using. I'm gonna show you how to use the stock tools that come with your DAW. I'm gonna show you how to use our Isotope RX. And also, if you don't have any paid software, I'll show you how to do it for free in Audacity as well. So we've got a section of a podcast recording here. Let's have a listen. There was this one real Porsche and it was worth like $350,000, right? So you can see there there's a lip smack, a very sharp, kind of nasty clicking sound. Obviously the easiest thing to do would be to just mute it, to get rid of it, but there's a lot of situations where that's not possible. For example, if they'd recorded on the same track um, or if the click was in the middle of a word. So the first thing we're gonna try is just using the stock tools that come with any DAW, the first thing you're going to want to do is reduce the level of the click. It's sort of like what you have to do with removing plosives. Um, put, I'll leave a link in the description for the video we did on plosives the other day, where we're going to reduce the level of them because it, it's very harsh um, spike in signal. And then we're going to use EQ. So let's get an EQ out. The clicks often have a lot of high frequencies in, uh, opposite of, of the plosives, have a lot of low frequencies. So let's just have a listen and find where it's the most harsh. Let's bring that down and render that just on the click itself. You can see it's reduced it a significant amount. $50,000. $350,000. So it's much, much less harsh. Again, I could just delete it, but in the, in this situation, but if it was on the same track, um, you would have to just go in and try and reduce it as much as possible. The second method we're going to try is using Isotope RX. So again, you want to highlight the click or the section with clicks in. How sensitive do you want it? In this, it doesn't really matter because this is we can have it quite low, just the default, because this is a very harsh click. If you have a piece of audio, that has a lot of it's kind of subtle, quiet clicks, you might need to increase the sensitivity at the expense of, of losing some audio quality. And we just click render. And it basically does those things that we just did, but um, in, a, in a much more smart way. $50,000. And it's almost gone. I didn't have to do anything else. $350,000. But RX is a premium plugin. We're gonna have a look at how to do it for free now in Audacity. So Audacity has its own click removal tool. Same process as when using Isotope, just highlight the click, go to effect and then click removal. And then again, we've got sensitivity and how wide the spike is. Just click OK. Has to be larger than four, just over 4,000 samples. So reselect it, go back into effect, click removal. And the, when I used the default settings, it actually didn't, didn't do anything. Um, so I've just had to increase the threshold there and the max spike width. And then it's giving us some reduction. $50,000. It was worth like $350,000. So $50, it's reduced the level, reduced the harshness. Again, not as effective as RX. Um, I would probably use a combination of, of getting uh, some gain reduction and an EQ in there as well. Um, so you can highlight it, go to amplify, reduce it by say minus four dB. $50,000. And yeah, just, just play around with the tools. Some clicks will be picked up by the click removal really well, others won't. But if Audacity is all you have access to, then it's perfectly usable for fixing up some minor clicks. I'll be covering more fixes like this in the coming weeks, so subscribe if you haven't already um, so you don't miss those, or I'll leave, I'll leave the playlist in the description once they're all out so you can check them all out. And let me know in the comments section below what method do you use to remove clicks from your audio recordings, or which one are you going to be trying. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.